What's cracking guys? I'm Ryan and welcome to Ripla Builds and today just a quick vlog. Hey, it's been uh, I think over a month since the last did the vlog because uh, like as always like when I mentioned I've been flat out crazy um, just doing everything and anything that uh, that comes along building your own you know building your own hobby shop from um, from scratch. Fast forward it's been five months since I I've been operational. Thank God for that. It's uh, it's been pretty good. Can't complain. Things are um, people are finding the shop, uh, moving, you know, selling a fair bit of stock. Which is thank you very much for all my um, uh, patrons and people who have supported the shop. I really got you to thank because because of you, I am living the dream. Anyway, quick update. Um, hey, the spray booth is finished and um. For uh, that's probably the last thing that I've had to to try and finish off because it's one of those things that over the last five months, I mean, since last September, when uh, when I undertook this whole this whole journey of um, building a shop, running a shop, and so on, everything that I've done is very much revolved around building the fixtures, building the counters displays lighting everything else so if you've been into the shop you'll know that you've kind of seen it evolve uh since me starting it up last september and uh opening up in december and here we are fast forward may i'm um i'm track tracking along very well so i'm i'm excited and really happy for what um how things are going uh like what i said quick update guess what the booth is ready we're actually i'm actually painting the airbrush is out like it's been over a year now since I've last touched an airbrush which is really good and um, this is probably like the last piece of the puzzle so I can probably that I can comfortably say that I can start building and creating content and that's really what's kind of suffered like what I mentioned in my previous vlogs you know I was supposed to really kind of do a lot more of that but sadly there's so much things that happens in the background that I just like my day here in the shop, like like what I said before, I'm only a one man operation. I do everything here. I do occasionally get some help from friends, but predominantly it's me. I do all the stock receiving. I do all the uh, do the day to day stuff, serve customers and try to sneak in a time where I can actually build more things for the shop. And like this is the last piece of the puzzle, which is that. The spray booth and the spray booth is uh, done now. This is pretty much um, custom built around. Um, as you could let you have a quick look there. This is pretty much built up to spec um, to really sort of fit into this enclosure. And I built around the spray booth itself. Uh, built the side this part of here, part of this here which it's got all the side pieces where it, it folds and this is where I put all the the stuff that I've airbrushed I'm still out to organize all the hanging bits here to, so everything is at, is, is at, uh, at reach and that's kind of one of the things that I set out I mean you knew you guys that have come in here you've probably seen me working on this like this has a three three compartments this will be the drying the drying rack so when I'm doing cars, this will be all enclosed and so on. The booth is here, little work area in the bottom here and also the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, photo studio. So if you want to stay, if you want to go and take photos in here and the compressors and all the paint will be sitting there. Um, yeah, super happy with it. And then this one, actually, if you would have seen in my previous posts, um, remember that black box? Check that out. That black box there is actually the, my window contraption, contraption jig, right? And I've got the piping running through here. Then over there, I've got the, the motor ducted into this piping into this box. Then I've actually got another three PC fans in that, um, in that enclosure to, to get maximum airflow. So not only I'm using the, the Sparmax big motor to extract air out, but that's also being helped by three more uh, computer, 120 millimeter computer fans. We're actually joking, we should go put some RGB fans in there so when someone's driving by at night, they can see if Ripla's 
actually painting. So, uh, but no, I just posted three, three normal fans there. And um, what else? So yeah, I'm like when I'm building, you know, I'm building, I'm painting something, guys. Look, <laughs> um, basically it's, uh, I've done the gold, uh, sorry, the, let me start again. I've done gloss black. I'm about ready to put some gold in. And um, any guess what this is? I mean, I mean, that's a hint right there. But essentially it's masking hell. So masking hell and a lot of gold. And um, I'm excited with this one because it's a little bit of a sort of a palette cleanser. And it's been a while since I've built this style of a model. But there's a lot of masking and there's a lot of fiddly bits. Um, but yeah, just excited for it. So anyway, I thought I'd just quickly turn the camera on and I really got to, uh, like what I said in my previous vlog, I've got a goal this year to crank out 50 videos. Was it now? It's May and I've done zero like proper videos. I mean, the, this vlog is my vlogging channel, um, but actual 50 videos in the official Ripla Builds channel, which uh, I've really got to go launch. But I've got something that I'm about to launch shortly, um, a little project, which I'll keep you guys involved. And I'm hoping that you guys would join me with this little project. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I um, just wanted to show with you guys that the last pieces of puzzles done. The shop is running great. Um, it's more a case of just make sure that I've got a lot of stock because stuff moves, right? So, um, but yeah, anyway, just a quick update of the rifle day and the quick update on the day of Ripler, living the dream, super happy. And um, as I always say, can I get a hell yeah.